Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be another update to the 3D printed C3PO statue build that I'm working on. It doesn't quite justify a full uh, video, which would be part three. So this is gonna be 2.5, which you probably could see in the title. So, why even bother? Well, because I'm gonna be super busy for the next two weeks and I don't know when I'm gonna be able to post another video about anything. So. Uh, since the last video, as you saw, I, I 3D printed a hand, and since then I tried to 3D print the other hand, but you can see it had a failure, and on the last video I had this weird issue, there's a line right through here where I kind of had this weird error, and I think it was in the G code, which is the, uh, the code that you send to the printer to, it basically tells the printer where to put the filament. Um, at the exact same spot on the left hand, and I redid the G code uh, at different settings and everything, but at the exact same spot, it just failed on me. So, something I have to examine and figure out. I printed a whole bunch of other stuff since then parts for uh, Stormtrooper blasters, doing a bunch of tests just to get that printer up and going real well. Uh, along with some other things, and everything's printed all right. And there's some issues I'm still trying to work out with the printer, but overall. There's that. So I haven't printed anything new except for that half of a hand that messed up. I'll also show you, I don't know if you can see all the stringing inside. It's not supposed to do that, but for some reason it is. I, I don't know what that's about. The other models didn't seem to do that as badly. It's something about this file. So anyway, what I've been doing, the whole reason I've come on here to do the update is that I've been working in ZBrush at getting the files broken up, the torso and the legs and the head, so that um, I can separate them. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm not actually breaking the model apart yet, but I'm separating all the elements into their own polygroups, which is kind of cool because it's still one piece, but you can really quickly select and hide uh, different parts of the model really easily, or you can work on one part but if you need to make a morph or transform something where it covers multiple pieces, you can transform all the parts still because it's still technically one piece. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I'm doing now. It's part of ZBrush. It's been around for a little bit, but I haven't had much use for in my projects. So this is kind of a cool thing for me to work on, something I'm getting to learn. Um, so I figured I'd show that. Uh, I have decided that I am going to break this up as though it's going to be a costume. However, I am still printing it as a statue, but I'm when I'm in here doing this, I may as well break it apart. So that is the process. Also, one of the worst parts of the scan, not because the scan is so bad, but just because the statue is kind of eh, uh, is this neck ring. And a while back, I remembered that I had modeled one of these neck rings for someone uh, is a custom thing and he sent me the measurements and I modeled it to the Dawn Post specs and I will be posting that neck ring on my Thingiverse page so if you guys or any of any of you are working on one of these statues the neck ring will be there it's a one ring it's not cut like the costume it's just a you know it's a circle with the do I have one around here somewhere probably not but it's it's just a neck ring Again, scaled to the Don Post size, which is not quite screen accurate. I don't know if it's because when Don Post made their statue, they recreated the neck ring slightly wrong, or if it shrunk while they were doing their copies, or a little bit of both. There is potential that it may change a little bit in the future, but if you guys want it, I will put a link below. But anyway, that's it. I've been up to breaking up the models into a bunch of pieces so that they are useful. Short update. But I figured I'd keep you guys posted. And what are you up to over there? Yeah, nothing. I don't know. That seems a little bit suspicious. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. All right. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I will have more videos soon. The printer build and hopefully a review if I can get my settings all worked out. Uh, along with uh, a proper update to this once I start getting more pieces printing which will be a, a true part three to this build as opposed to 2.5. This is sort of a weak video. But anyway, thanks again, guys, for stopping by, and I will see you soon. I just got word that the files that I've been working from are now free on Thingiverse, so I will put a link to them below. Also, someone had already taken those files, sliced them up to make them into costume parts. Now, they're not perfect. There's some things that need to be tweaked still, but... It's a good head start. So if you're looking to print these things, 
They are now free. I will put links uh, in the description. I also found some arm pistons that somebody else made. Um, they look okay. I'll put those uh, link to those and a link to my neck ring. Um, so you guys should have a fun project on your hands if you want to do this as well. Uh, anyway, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you kids soon. Bye! Do you want to do something really fun? Fun's over, Fall 2. Let's vanish! Faster!